Alright, here we go. Hello everyone. We are still in the Grand Ship's engine room. Basement 29, apparently. Arbitrarily. Anyway, we, uh... I just turned off battles now to quickly get to the uh, elevator. Just because, yeah, it's simple to do that. Once we get to the elevator, I'll turn them back on, though. Take that shark. Take that fish. Pretty sure these fish were in uh, Four Heroes of Light. Oh. And down they go. It's like this is what you're working on, like the end boss of the game, uh, Shadow. Arctic Wind. This sounds like an end boss type game, or type fight. That went a little better with less damage taken. Let's save our game and we'll go up here. That's a dead end. Barrier Shroud, what is this? Ah, greatly raises M defense. Okay, well. At least I know these guys' weakness now, though. There we go. 
There, it is it's officially halfway to job level 14. Remember this thing at all? Hmm. Boss behemoth. Uh, let's, uh, Maybe I'll have a weakness. Weak to lightning, okay. I'm gonna have 8,000 HP? All right. Ow. That was fucking rude. Twice in a row. Alright. Yeah, a nice little buffer at the least. Now I'm nice guarding against that rude. Oh well, it still increases my magic attack. This guy's the jerkiest jerk who ever jerked. You're not a fan of him either, huh? Okay. Would you stop that?
Okay. Eat shit, behemoth. Got about 30,000 off him now. Uh, is that ma if we're magic damage? Oh, we're gonna find out. Toothy rend. That hurt. That's right, eat shit, Behemoth. You get 10,000 off him per uh, Thundaga uh, cast with her. Oh, what are we gonna find out here? Mm, I don't know if that did less damage or not. Block. Sometimes you just gotta turn the game off for a while. So, Shadow, in uh, Xenosaga Episode 3, there was a boss I was having a lot of trouble with. Uh, now, to be fair, it was a post-game boss, but uh, it was making me kind of mad. Um, uh, I could not beat him for the life of me. Uh, I turned the game off one day and just stopped playing it. I went back to it around six months or so later. And... Beat the boss on the first try. No problems either, just beat the crap out of him. Didn't level my characters, nothing. I'm not saying it's going to be the same for you, but maybe it's, you just need to take a break. Oh, you're at 20,000. You're almost done. Oh, you fucker. Leave Ring a Bell alone. I'll just have her heal every round. Seems like a good strategy. Yeah. 
Melodia, you raise a really good point. You don't agree, cat? I say, Melodia, Melodia, you raise a good point. My cat jabs me in the knee with her claw. I find it really, uh, especially bad in MMOs, where people will be like, X game is so easy, yet they'll have not cleared 90% of the content. The strategy appears to be working, so. Well, that was a good crit. Yeah, you're done. Because of that crit, we're probably gonna win this round. Yeah, because there goes 2,000. Oh, third spell will probably kill him. Yep. We did it! X-Potion, Arctic Wind. That was a pretty difficult fight in terms of how much damage that stupid Roar could do, but he wasn't too bad. That was a close call. And whose fault is that? All right, let's insert the Aura Calcum. I'll do it. You should all stand back. That can't be a good sign. It seems to have subsided. I wonder what it did. Eat hamburgers. Oh, it's you, Dats. And the proprietress. We've evacuated all the townspeople. Except for our friend here, of course. The ship stopped sinking. It's no longer a lean either. One of the townspeople. They'll be heading back in droves, right? Actually, they all say they've had it with this ramshackle ship. They're sailing off to various other realms as we speak. Legend has it that Grand Ship was built by pirates. Perhaps that blood is still in us. Well, at least everyone is safe. That's a relief. Look! There's a wheel in the council chamber. Hard to starboard. Full speed ahead. Hey, stop fooling around, Ringabell. You too, Adia. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. It's glowing. Like I said, quit messing around. This isn't ours to tinker with. The residents have left the ship and don't appear to be coming back. Women are drawn to men with a wild streak and a hint of danger in their eyes. How about you stop spouting nonsense and push the darn thing? All right, then. Huh? get airborne amazing we're up so high amazing well I'll be she can get up to twice the altitude of the echelon we could probably cross over into the duchy on this idea easily yay now we can go and awaken the earth crystal well on yes Shall we make for the Duchy of Eternia? Yes! That settles it. I'm staying too. You want to go with us? You must all be famished. I'll get the kitchen ovens fired up. Yeah, we can finally go to Eternia.
Friendship, no terrain can bar your progress now. The world is your oyster. To land, find an open area and press the A button. When landing in water, you can sail off in the echelon. The airship menu. Lose your boat after disembarking Grand Ship? Not to worry. That's what the airship icon's for at the bottom of the map. Give it a touch. Ain't that the truth. The proprietress made a brave face, but we make for the duchy ter enemy territory. Right, it's going to be dangerous. That's, that's, it's best if you two took the proprietress and left the airship. Though it kills me to say farewell to her cooking. No more desserts. It can't be helped, you two. Besides, these two have their mission as shield bearers. Huh? Mission? Oh, right! Hey, don't worry about that. Our current orders are to escort the vessel of wind and keep her safe. What? Since when? Since you guys helped us out. The orders came from Commander Goodman himself. That's why the two of us came back to Grand Ship to tip a few back. The old house is full of shield bearers who came to take over for us. Then I guess we'll just that just leaves the proprietors. We have to convince her to take shelter. Yeah, good luck with that. Maybe when Mount Karka freezes over. You'll be lucky if she doesn't beat you for asking. I'm Grand Ship born and raised. If you don't like it, get the heck off my boat. <laughs> Too perfect. That's her answer, guaranteed. An uncanny likeness. Still, the danger is too great. It is for her own sake that we ask. Look, my bet is that seeing you all stirred something inside her. Inspired her. Besides, you can't really can't, you really can't live without her cooking now that you've had it. A fate grimmer than a thousand deaths. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> bah! -ha -ha, you're not too bad. Yourself. Look, you leave her to us. Between the three of us, we'll keep this boat safe when you're away, no matter what. Then you have my thanks. That's that's. Think nothing of it. You just rest easy and leave this crate to us. The ice of Eternia. Whoa, this is amazing. Look how high up we are. I could gaze upon every woman in the world at once from Grand Ship's deck. I'm coming, my sweets. There's not a one of more. There's not one of you more than ten minutes away from me now. The long wait is over. Yours is a one-track mind, and that track isn't even a good one. Still, it's a weird coming home after so long. Eternia, land of immortality. It's cold there year-round, right? Right! And I'm not even kidding when I say cold. Bundle up, everybody! Eddie, um, what is snow like? I fear I've never seen it before. Well, for one, it's at the top of my white as snow list. It's like white fluffy crystals raining from the sky. I see. That sounds quite more romantic, actually. It's like bits of cotton candy falling from the heavens. It melts on your tongue, but it's salty, not sweet. Is that so? It does start as evaporated seawater, after all. Ah, of course, and the sea is certainly salty. And that's not all. Sometimes when it snows, fish fall from the sky. Fish? Really? <laughs> Don't tease the poor girl, about. Be nice. You were deceiving me? <laughs> Sorry I didn't pipe up sooner. If you still have questions, I'll give you the real answers. Honestly, idea. So what color is snow, really? Yeah. One hour, 36 minutes. See, Shadow, you mentioned that, but you gotta realize, or people don't realize, is that difficulty is entirely subjective. So when somebody says that's it's hard, or... They make fun of something for something being easy. They're not right and they're not wrong. It, it is easy for them. And they often confuse what's easy for them as easy for everybody. Lord Marshal, we just received word that Grand Ship has vanished. Vanished? You mean to say it has sunk? We know little as yet, but it seems Grand Ship's inhabitants have evacuated en masse. And according to what we have heard from them, Grand Ship did not sink, it simply vanished. How is such a thing possible? Alternus, where is the Wind Vestal now? After a brief stop in the Kingdom of Caldisla, she entered Grand Ship before it vanished. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Muster our forces with haste. I will have every last soldier be made ready for war! Yes, your lordship. But may I be so bold as to ask why 
Our land of Eternia is an inviolable realm that rings with lofty highlands. Surely, even one such as the Wind Vestal could not... It is by hope I make much of naught. Yet we cannot leave matters to hope or chance, for we now have but one crystal under our control. Could it be your lordship's daughter is providing the Vestal with information about our defenses? Victor! Hold your tongue! No. His fear is not without merit. I bring ill tidings. An enormous flying vessel has been sighted over South Southmore, and it appears poised to alight there. Ill tidings? I fail to see how such a vague report is anything of the sort. S suffice to say, sir, it's a veritable fortress, far beyond the size of an airship. Could it be Lord Marshal? This is the Wind Vestal's doing. Do you mean to suggest Grand Ship has taken flight? That it has surmounted the highlands that defend our land? How absurd. Spare me your flights of fancy. How do our defenses presently stand? <clears throat> they stand ready for war, as your lordship commanded. And our troops in Frost Peak Passage and artillery at the summit are prepared to engage at any moment. We shall join the defense effort. Victor, is the demon child ready for war? I beg you, call her not a demon child. That is, if you hold your life dear. <clears throat> and whether Victoria goes to war is not for either of us to decide. The decision is hers alone. But is she not receiving treatment as we speak? When she worked her magic upon me, she seemed more than ready for battle. Her fits grow in frequency of late. Is she not nearing her limit? There is no cause for alarm. None whatsoever. Chapter 4, Black and White.